Hey, welcome to the Freedom Income YouTube channel showing you how to hustle and additional sources of income, how to create them. So this video, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet, get right to the point, and that's all about interactive brokers, how you set stop losses and take profits and just simple orders, right? Especially uh, also after hours and extended hours. So let's get right to it. Stay tuned. So let's get right to it, to the point, uh, short and sweet. So... This is Interactive Brokers, and this is a demo account, right? Don't worry about these orders here, right? Most of them are put options, right? I'm just, uh, this is the demo account, I'm basically practicing some put options and seeing how the strategy works. Uh, basically, if I'm not going to talk about put options in this video, but if you want to find out more about put options, then look at my other video, which uh, which is called Sell Put Options for Income. Uh, you can check check all that out there. So, right, let's get right to the point, right? So, let's just take an example, right? With stop losses and take profits, you, you want to be quite intelligent about them at the first place right what i mean by that is let's just say uh, let's just uh, okay let's let's go for this one here coop right <coughs> i want to just see something here i want to see a a stock in fact let's just stick with this right this stock makes sense <laughs> so this stock right here grwg right first of all this stock if you check it fundamentally is quite as good analyst ratings are good uh technically is good because you can see, clearly see is a bullish trend overall uh i mean it's now on a on a on a, on a bearish trend but so many stocks are like that at the moment so right when, when you want to set a stop loss right you want to set it intelligently in the sense that for example this stock here key support is here it's just broken below it but it's just but this here this this support here is holding right which is about 28 level right if you go down to the sort of slightly lower time frame right this level here 28 which is about 28 is holding strong so intelligently you could set a stop loss at 27 for this and it's are likely to hit right that's the way how you want to do stop losses right sort of just just sort of below key support right for example you wouldn't like let's say you got in on the stock at 40 here you wouldn't set it at 38 because the chance of it hitting is much higher than chance of it dropping below uh, 27 for example and and it's not I'm not saying it won't because if the market crashes it, it will do but 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 under normal circumstances is unlikely so that's um, that's how you want to set stop losses anyway intelligently right so let's get right to it grwg let's you want to this is grwg you want to buy this uh let's just just let's just let's just say let's just keep it like that, that 10 for now right um, and let, let's go to 32 because i think it's trading at 31 of uh, roughly 31 fifth well that's, i think 31 50 you should be able to fill so just go to 31 50 you want to keep that limit order and right now is uh, the market doesn't open for another five hours or so um, so I'm way before that, but this is another benefit of interactive brokers in that you can start trading five hours before the market opens because that's extended hours trading. To do that, you make sure you click on GTC and you click on this one, fill outside right uh, market hours, right? Basically regular trading hours, fill outside regular trading hours. You want to click on advanced to attach a stop loss or take profit. Now here's a caveat. A take profit, if you don't want, if you don't set it yet, that doesn't matter. You can do that after, but a stop loss with interest of brokers you must set the stop loss when you initially open the order because if you don't then you cannot no longer set a stop loss so you make sure you do that first so right here you go to stop loss right, I'll just show you both let's just say for example uh, 50 is probably quite a good take profit for this and uh, in fact if you are well if you're patient as a swing trader uh, this should go above its above 60 is above 70 in time anyway but let's just say you want to do 50 and um, so <sighs> profit taker you put this at 50 and stop loss, you put the stop loss we said at 27, right? And that's it. You do stop loss there, do that there, and then you click submit. Make sure you do that. It doesn't matter if you don't do click profit first, but you must do stop loss. And then you click submit and override, 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 boom. There. So we have just bought uh the grwg at 31 dollars and 34 pence per share and we bought 10 of them and it's, it's now extended hours trading and we have just set a take profit at 50 which means if the price rises to 50 you your order will close off completely at 50 or you can close partials right this is that you can change this after see look we got 10 shares so let me just show you right here right we got 10 shares of this stock right here right you can see 
Um, I was actually practicing with a bigger order earlier uh, with this. Uh, so it's plus is a demo account, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so so basically, uh, this is not real, right? For this order, there's no way we're losing that much. Uh, it's because of a previous pra uh, practice, which I practice one, which I done. And for this order, we may be down by like maybe just like ten, twenty dollars or something, right? But it doesn't matter. And um, so a demo account anyway. So if you want, let's say to t take partial profit at fifty, right, half of the position, then you just change that, update that to five, and update. So when ha when the price of this stock hits fifty dollars, half of your or position will close at fifty dollars, which means the profit. And then the other half, if you want, the, here this is what I, what I'll show you now. This is what you want to do. You want to go to sell, and you want to sell five of them. Let's say right. This is your next take profit, right? So let's say you want to take profit at sixty for, the, for, for as a final profit, or or or, or even sixty five, right? Let's say sixty five. All you need to do is enter sixty five, GTC fill outside right, right uh, rth and submit and that's basically you setting a take profit right it's not exactly a take but it's not exactly setting it when you buy like a profit taker but it is a profit taker because it will not fill until you get the price of the instrument gets to that price so it is a take profit really so basically this is what what, what it means now is you're selling five of your 10 shares at $50 and you want to sell five of your 10 shares at $65 and you got 10 shares here if if the price of the instrument drops to $27, it will close your position at a slight loss, which is which is about 15% as the price is at the moment, well, just over 15% as price is at the moment. So that's how you would set your take profit and stop loss. Again, I stress you must set your stop loss first when you place the order as you place it, because after that, you can no longer place a stop loss order. Uh, because if you do a, a order which is below the price right now, it will just sell at the current price. So that's basically that. That's uh, that's uh, that's handy. And personally, I would highly recommend interactive brokers, especially if you're based in UK like myself. I think for trading options or for trading anything, right, extended hours is it, it, brilliant. And um, sometimes stocks can run during extended hours, during pre-market or post-market, and then it allows you to sell, which is good, and bag that profit. And also for options is great. Some of those mainstream ones, like trading two one two plus five hundred, you cannot trade options with it. And I personally think selling put option is a good strategy um and it's and it's the fees are pretty cheap the fees are very very good for 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 uk citizens and um, you know they do charge a fee but it's only like a dollar dollar fifty for each trade on average which i think is really really good and there are uh, there are other brokers out there like robin hood etc that or weeble that don't charge uh, any fees but i don't think they're professional enough and there's always problems with interactive pro uh, interactive brokers you do not see that happening much at all if at all um so highly recommend it anyway guys uh thank you for watching the video and subscribe to the channel if you like the content i'm sharing and do consider joining the freedom income discord channel which is completely free i'll include a link for you guys actually uh, in the bio so do that and uh, thank you for watching happy trading